Monday memes. Are they a thing? Should they be a thing? We never talk about it. Have you ever been playing a game and just wanted to rage? Or maybe DaVinci Resolve decided to end your editing sessions short. There's a meme for that. The rage meme. And today, I'm going to show you how to rage. All right, first up, we're going to start with a clip of me playing a game and getting angry. Because that never happens. That's totally unrealistic. But we're going to do it for this video. Next, we're going to open the effects library. First thing we want to do is go to effects, grab an adjustment clip. We can drop all our effects around in the adjustment clip, then we don't have to do anything. So we're going to go down to open effects after that. Go ahead and grab a color compressor, drop it on. Now click on your adjustment clip, go over to effects. We're going to change the color. Red, of course, because we want rage. And just go ahead and crank up that compress hue. And then we want to just increase the saturation and luminance. Now we kind of want to distort the image a little bit. We're going to go down to JPEG damage. Now if you do have the studio version, film grain works great for this. I'll show you a little bit later. But if you don't, JPEG damage works pretty well. So go ahead and grab that, drop that on, go over to JPEG damage, adjust the quality until you get where you want it, distort kind of however you want, resolution, damage, block ratio, frequency, just kind of get a nice distortion there. Now the next thing you want is a camera shake. Right below that, JPEG damage, drop a camera shake, and I find the default is actually pretty good. Look at that boy rage. All right, one last thing I want to do is I actually want to zoom in a little bit. So just click on your adjustment clip, go back to video, click on zoom, and we'll make it like 1.3. And a resulting clip. Yeah. All right, last thing we want to do is we want to mess with the audio. Now it's not good enough to have audio. We want to distort the audio just a little bit like we did the image. So go over to your effects, click on audio effects. And the one we want to do is distortion. Drag and drop that. You want to go up to this default, go to crunchy. That gives it a nice effect. By the way, if you close out of that window, and you want to go to your effects, just go to your effects, go to distortion, and there's this little tab here. That'll bring it right back up. No! One last thing you want to do, we'll just go to the basic audio. And if you want to give it to yourself a deeper voice, go to the semitones, bring that down a little bit, and. There you go. Now you know how to rage. If you do have the studio version, let me show you what the other one looks like. We'll go ahead and drop on a film grain. Let's also drop on this dehaze. Drop the dehaze on. We're going to go to dehaze. Choose the color again. We want red. It's going to choose an opposite color, so we just want to bring the dehaze strength down. We want to go to the film grain. Go ahead and bring up that grain strength. Kind of aspect ratio. You can kind of see it there. And just go ahead and mess with it however you want. Give that distortion look offset. That's another way to do it. All right, there you have it. Now you know how to do it. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and to ring that bell.